So the last project is making something that interacts with an animal. And um, I also think it's a good time to kind of reflect back on the whole course to think about what you've learned. Um, you started off maybe not knowing much about it, the engineering process. Um, kind of built you up through the projects. Uh, over the six projects, you've dealt with different parts of the design. You focused on different parts of the design process, and now you might be an expert, uh, hopefully. And so thinking about what an animal might need, I thought might help you understand the process better and, and when going through the whole process, um, but figuring out what an animal needs might be an interesting challenge. Um, because we all have animals in our lives, whether it's your little brother or a squirrel or a favorite bird who comes to visit you or a cat or dog. Um, and so making something for them is a different way of giving something and it's a different way of designing something. You have to think about what's good for animals, what what's going to be dangerous for animals, what's what do they need? What do they like? And um, hopefully in the end, the animal played with it. And that's the best kind of feedback you can get in this situation, is that the animal actually uses it and enjoys it. Um, so hopefully you learned about design process and brainstorming, and you can use this to uh, do new things. And that's the whole purpose of this class, is to introduce you to the idea of engineering design so that you can become a maker, so you become an engineer. Even if you um, only learn from this that you can build something if you need it, hey, <laughs> that's fine with me. Um, because making something on your own and not buying the whole thing from the store is such a great feeling. Um, well, you know that now, I hope. Um, so what can, what can you do next from here? Uh, Make Magazine is a great resource. They have projects that most people can do. Instructables website is very is similar to that, except it's all online. Um, they have things you can do. Just look for projects that might be interesting to you, and you should be able to figure them out now. Um, and then my other last question is, what's next for me? Um, if you like this class, and I did a good job, which I tried to do, um, I want you to, hopefully you can fill out the survey to tell me how, how I can make the class better for next time. And also, part of the survey is, what should I do next? Um, do you want to see an Arduino class? Do you want to see an electronics class? Um, do you want to see, I don't know, tell me what to do. Um, and if I have expertise in that area, I will happily do it and, and make a class that is useful to you um, to take your learning to the next level. Um, so please fill out the survey. <laughs> Thank you.